All right, we have uh, just finished some of the test plots here on the organic no-till experiment. Uh, I'll give a little overview of what things look like here at harvest and uh, try to run over some of the numbers real quick. Okay, since this was not a square field uh, with the GPS, I squared it up and so we ended up with this little odd bit at the end. Um, you'll be able to see, I'm gonna try to put on a, a map of the field so you can kind of see what I mean by squared it up. So this is what the, I'm starting uh, at the one end, this was rye. You can still see the rye mat is here uh, that was drilled seven and a half inches and uh, no-tilled in. These beans have all lodged for some reason, all the drilled into rye lodged. Uh, and so these uh, yielded, uh, according to the test plot, this is unreplicated, just kind of a, a general idea. Um, but these yielded in the 60s or so. I'll uh, also try to put up the uh, picture of the plot data since I don't have it on hand. So the next to that we had the rye that was planted into 30s and you can see here these were the 30 inches. See here's our, our single row, our rye mat is here. Um, they did not grow very tall. They only uh, yielded about 47 according to the yield data. Also kind of lodged a little bit. Um, you can see they, the rye held back some of the weeds. I mean, we, we weed zapped it once. Uh, it really needed to be weed zapped a second time, but our weed zapper was having issues. And so uh, it only got weed zapped once, but the rye did an okay job of holding back some of the weeds. In general, the, we had the issue and a lot of people have this issue. These are again, still the 30 inch beans into the roller crimp rye the foxtail comes through that rye even late in the season uh, and you can see we've got all this since we harvested the rye over top of the beans you know we've got tons of material that i'm running through the combine the combine doesn't seem to mind it's all very dry right now but if we were to have a wet fall i can see that would be really a big headache so this is all the rye that we no-tilled into and then planted seven and a half, and then 30s. The 30s were at 170,000. The drilled was planted at 220. We come here to the planted into 30s. This was also rye. Remember, we we uh, cut the rye off and then baled it and then tilled. This is all tilled. So this is our 30 inches. These, amazingly, we've got some good ground down here on, on some of this bottom ground. Uh, according to the test plot, these yielded 71. Uh, so just amazing. I think this is the, that's the highest we've ever raised um, beans. I wish the whole field was like that now, but you can see very few weeds in these. And these were just rotary hoed a couple times, cultivated. Um, I mean, in an ideal world, we probably would have rotary hoed them another time. This field, uh, we didn't do anything special. We didn't give it any special energy or treatment. In some ways, it was kind of maybe neglected a little bit. Um, but the, just kind of a real world, okay, if we would do this on a bigger scale, you know, which one would work best in our system? Uh, so then here we have, this is the drilled, this was tilled ground and then drilled in 30 inches. Um, and you can see there's there's definitely weeds out there. Again, probably should have been rotary hoed another time, should have been weed zapped another time. That would have made a difference on some of that ragweed, would have taken some of the fox out. Even a tine weeder would have cleaned this out quite a bit. But you can see there's a lot of, a lot of beans there. They also are starting to lean a little bit, just barely lodged. And these uh, also yielded up in the 60s. So uh, very, very good yields. The ones that just really did horrible, or co horrible comparatively, were the 30 inches into the rye. Uh, if we would have roller crimped, it maybe would have made a difference. Maybe, uh, it's hard to say. Um, you can see here, this is where we took out the, the different, different plot samples. Um, but that's that's the results for this year. I'll uh, I'll again have the um, results written down below for the different treatments, the different plots. This is you know you can't base a lot off of just one year's trial that's unreplicated. But it was kind of interesting to see. Um, gives us some ideas for things to try if we were to do this again. And uh, we'll go from there. I'm gonna try to get this field finished up before things get tough. And thanks for following along the journey. Feel free to reach out if you guys have any questions or comments. Uh, we'll look forward to 
sharing some more experiments uh, that we might try in the future. Have a good night, y'all.